may not know the name Jason Harris just yet, but if you're a basketball fan in the Valley, there's no doubt you will. Halfway through his sophomore year of high school, Harris is the number two basketball prospect in the state for his grade and is among the nation's top 50 players in that class. I've been playing basketball since I was about four. So, I mean, that's that's always, that, that's more of like a first love, you know, because I, I, I started out when I was like four, four years old, and I've kind of rode, rode with that. But the basketball court isn't the only realm he thrives in, as Jason is already the top-ranked sophomore football player in Arizona, despite missing the entire 2017 season, recovering from surgery to repair a torn labrum. Football just came came along with me, and I've been getting offers in that as well. So I, I, I love playing, playing football and, and basketball, both sports, and uh, we'll, we'll, we'll see what, what happens in, in, in the end. Division I programs have certainly taken notice as Jason holds football scholarship offers from schools like Oklahoma and Arizona and basketball offers from Nevada and Florida State. Well, yeah, we, we constantly get calls on can we come see him and, you know, not only just him but other kids as well, um, but they're definitely interested in him and, you know, with him also participating in the USA team, he's well known throughout the country, um, so again, he has that popularity and, and starting to build his resume. Jason does have a leg up over many other young players as he isn't the only athlete in the family. His father, Sean, was an All-American linebacker at Arizona who spent seven years in the NFL. His mother, Sharon, was a three-year letter winner with Arizona's women's basketball team. And his brother, Jalen, is currently a freshman playing defensive end for the Wildcats. Well, I think what keeps Jason humble is he comes from an athletic family. The things he's achieved, We've kind of already did all those things. Despite his family having so much athletic success, they have tried to keep their opinions out of the recruiting process. Uh, I think that Jason has grown up in a household to be where he's comfortable being his own person. And I think at the end of the day, he'll choose what's best for him academically and athletically. And if that's U of A, great. If it's another institution, that's great as well. Having a brother already go through the recruiting carousel has helped both Jason and his parents navigate the rocky terrain of college recruiting. I think it's been extremely instrumental, especially because during the recruiting process, Jason was able to take a look inside the same program. So we took unofficial visits as well as official visits. And with those visits, we brought Jason along every step of the way. He's already made one difficult decision on a school as he transferred this past summer from Desert Ridge to Higley High School in Gilbert. With Jason being a really good basketball player, we thought the best thing for him was to make a switch. So uh, we just feel we got the best of both worlds now at Higley, you know, with football, with basketball, uh, the coaching, everything is just, you know, it's better for him at Higley. With his work ethic, God-given ability, um, what he's doing, I, I really can't see him not being a, uh, a top college prospect and potentially being drafted to the NBA. Jason understands that despite all his accolades so far, he still has much to improve. My greatest weakness is, I say just keeping, in, in games, keeping uh, even, even, even kill, like not, not, not getting too high at times and not getting too low, just staying focused. One thing's for sure, the ceiling and Jason's potential appears limitless, and his family will be there with him every step of the way. For Cronkite Sports, I'm Alex Didion, reporting.